Hey guys, my name is Anne and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to crochet this beautiful sweater. I'll be making a small here, but sizes X small to 3X large are included in this tutorial and also in the written pattern that I have linked down below. But here are all of the supplies you're going to be needing for this project. So to get started on this stitch pattern, I have my yarn, and this is my 5.5 millimeter hook. The first thing that we're going to do is make a slip knot, and you can do this any way you would like. After this slip knot, we're now going to make a chain of 55. And now to make a chain, all you want to do is just yarn over with your hook and pull through. Again, just yarn over with your hook and a pull through and then just keep on doing this until you have the total amount of chains. And so I just finished up working my chain of 55. And now that we are all done with our foundation chain, we're now going to move on to row 1. And for row 1, we're going to do a round of half double crochets. So to get started, I'm first going to skip this first chain and then inserting my hook into the second chain, we'll work our very first half double crochet. To do that, I'm just going to yarn over, insert my hook into that chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops. Doing this again, I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into that next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then now just keep on working half double crochets into each chain across and then I'm going to see you guys back once I have reached the end of my work. And so I have made it back here and I just finished working these half double crochets. So once you reach the end of your work, you can just go ahead and chain one and turn. And that chain one does not count as a stitch for the rest of the pattern. So moving on to row two, this is going to be basically the same exact thing that we did for row one. But skipping this first chain and inserting our hook into this first stitch, we are just going to work half double crochets into each stitch all the way down our work just like this and so since I've already showed this on camera I'm just going to do a half double crochet into each stitch all the way across and then I'll see you guys back once I reach the end And so I have made it back here with my second round of these half double crochets. Now I'm just going to chain one and turn my work. Moving on to row three, we are finally going to begin on our cabling. So into this first stitch, we're going to work a half double crochet. And then now into the second stitch, so that second stitch is going to be right here. We'll work a front post treble crochet. To work a front post treble crochet, you want to yarn over twice. Then you just want to insert your hook into that post. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then yarn over, pull through two. Now into this next stitch, which is right here. So you should be skipping this stitch because that is where we worked our post. We will now work five half double crochets. So here is one, two, three, four, and then five. And now into the next stitch. And if you need to count, you can just count. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then here's that next post. We will work another front post treble. So yarning over twice, inserting your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, 
yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and this row is actually very easy you just want to repeat working five half double crochets and then a treble crochet into each stitch all the way down your row until you have five stitches at the end remaining but I'm gonna show you guys how to do this one more time so into the next stitch I'll work five half doubles so that's one two three four and then five then if you need to count, you can. So here's one, two, three, four, five. And then here's that next post. I'll work another treble crochet. So I'm gonna yarn over twice, insert my hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, and then pull through two. Then I'll keep on doing this until I have five stitches remaining. And so I am almost at the end of my row. I have five stitches at the end remaining and this is what it looks like so far. Now into these last five stitches, we're just gonna work one treble crochet. So into this next stitch. And then now into the last four stitches, just work four half doubles. And then at the end, you're gonna of course just chain one and turn your work. So moving on to row four, we're just gonna do a regular half double crochet row. So just be getting into this first stitch, work half double crochets into each stitch all the way down our row. And every single time that we are working at the back of our work, so the back is facing us, we're gonna do a half double crochet row every single time. So I'm just gonna quickly work up this half double crochet row and then I'll see you guys back to continue. And so I just finished up working that half double crochet coming all the way down for row four. And I did already chain and turn my work. Now we're gonna be moving on to row five and because we're facing the good side of our work, we're also gonna do another round of cablings, except this is gonna be a little bit different than from our first round. So beginning into this first stitch, we are gonna work four half double crochets. The next stitch that we're gonna do is called a double treble two stitches together. So to do that, I'm gonna yarn over three times because it is a double treble. So that is three times on my hook. Then I'm gonna pick up this post from two rows below, then just yarn over. Yarn over again, pull through two loops. Yarn over again, pull through two loops. Yarn over again and pull through another two loops. Now, instead of finishing the stitch, we're gonna yarn over three times once again. So one, two, three. Then now we're gonna insert our post into this next one over here. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Pull through two. Pull through two. And now you should have three loops on your hook. So just yarn over and pull through those three loops. That is what this stitch will look like. We're gonna do this again, so don't worry if you did not get it the first time. So into the next stitch, remembering that we have to skip one behind and into this next stitch, we will work five half double crochets. So that is one, two, three, four, and five. And now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pick up both of these posts. So I'm gonna yarn over three times and then insert my hook into this post. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And now you should have two loops on your hook. We're gonna yarn over three more times. So one, two, and three. Insert our hook into that next post. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two yarn over pull through two and then once you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three loops and this is what it should look like just like this so 
So now we're going to repeat this pattern working five double half double crochets and then our double treble two together stitch all the way across until we have seven stitches at the end remaining. All right, guys, so I just finished working this next row with our pattern. Now I have seven stitches at the end remaining. Into the seven stitches, we will first work five regular half double crochets. I'm just going to work these five really quickly. And then now into the next stitch, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do a front post, double treble, half double crochet two together stitch. So it's a lot of words for a really easy stitch. We're going to first yarn over three times like you're going to do a double treble. Then we're going to insert our hook. Behind that post, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two pull through two, you should now have two loops on your hook. So now we're going to yarn over just one more time. And then we're going to insert our hook into that next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. And then yarn over, pull through all the four loops. Just like this. Then you should have one stitch at the end remaining. Just work a regular half double crochet. This is what our next row looks like. Now we're just going to chain one and turn as usual. Now moving on to row six, since we're working at the back of our work, we're going to do a regular half double crochet row, nothing fancy at all. So I'll just start on this and then I'll see you guys back to continue for our next cable stitch row. Alright guys, so I have made it back here with another half double crochet row and I did already chain and turn my work as usual. So now we're going to move on to row 7, another cable stitch row. So to begin row 7, we're first going to work 4 half double crochets beginning into this first stitch. And then after these four half double crochets, we're going to work a front post double treble in between these two posts. To show you what that's going to look like, I'm going to yarn over twice for that front post treble. And then I'm going to go right in between here, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. That's what it should be looking like. Starting into the next stitch, we'll work five half double crochets. Then we're going to do the same thing, working a front post treble in between these two posts. So I'm going to yarn over twice, insert our hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And then you just want to repeat this pattern, working five half double crochets and then a double treble in between these two posts as I just showed you guys. And just until you have two stitches at the end of your row. So I'll just quickly work that up and then I'll see you guys back once I'm all done. So now I have two stitches at the end of row seven. And just to finish up this row, into the next stitch, you just want to work one last double treble crochet. And then into the last stitch, work a simple double crochet. Just chain one and turn your work. So for row eight, you guys can probably guess it, we're gonna do another half double crochet row. So I'll just quickly work across my row and then I'll see you guys back once I reach the end. All right guys, so I just finished up row eight of our pattern. And as usual, I chained and turned my work around. So moving on to row nine, we're first gonna begin with one half double crochet into the first stitch. 
And now into the next stitch, we'll work a front post half double crochet, treble double crochet. So we're just going to yarn over, insert our hook into that first stitch, pull up a loop. Now we're going to yarn over three times, so one, two, and three. We're going to insert our hook into that post, and then just yarn over, pull up a loop. Now just yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And so you should now have four loops on your hook. So just yarn over and pull through all four loops. Now from here, we're going to work five half double crochets into that next stitch. And then once you have finished working those half double crochets, we're going to pull together these two front posts like we have been doing. So just yarn over three times. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, then just pull through two, two, and two. Once you have two loops on your hook, we're going to do the same thing, so yarn over three times. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Then just yarn over, pull through those last three loops. And then same thing, work five half double crochets. And then after those five half double crochets, you just want to repeat the pattern working those double trebles, pulling two of these posts together, and then five half double crochets until you have four stitches at the end of our work remaining. So I'll work that up and I'll see you guys back once I reach the end. And so now once you have four stitches at the end of row nine, just to finish up this row, you just want to half double crochet into those four stitches. And then now just chain and turn your work. And so now for row 10, it is just gonna be another half double crochet row. So beginning into this first stitch, I'll do half double crochets until the end of my work, then I'll see you guys back. And so I just finished up working those half double crochets for row 10, and now we're going to move on to row 11, which is our very last repeat row, and it is a row that we have already done. So just beginning into this first stitch, we are going to work a half double crochet, and I already chained and turned my work. And now into the next stitch, we'll work a front post treble. Then now we'll work five half double crochets. And then we'll do another front post treble. Just like this. Then now just repeat working five half double crochets and then one front post treble until you have four stitches at the end of your row. So I'll see you guys back once I reach that point. And so I just made it across my work with those four stitches remaining. You just want to work those four half double crochets. And then you can just simply chain one and turn. Now to continue this pattern for our back panel, you just want to repeat row four through row 11. So you have a total of 44 rows or however long you would like your sweater to be. I'm gonna be doing 44 rows for this project, but again, you can do this however long you would like. I'm gonna quickly work up my 44 rows and then I'm gonna see you guys back once I am all done. Okay guys, so I just finished up working my 44 rows to our honeycomb stitch pattern. Then once I reached that last row, I just went ahead, cut and fastened off over here. And now that is gonna complete our back panel. We're now just gonna set this piece aside and then we're going to get started on working the front panel. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So 
So now we're going to be beginning on our first front panel and I've actually already started my front panel. The first thing that I did here was that I repeated everything for the back panel except the only difference is that instead of doing 44 rows in total you only want to do 37 rows in total so it should just be a little bit shorter than what we had previously. So once you have finished up your 37 rows, we're now going to begin on working our two shoulder straps that are going to come along this edge. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So working on our very first shoulder strap, the first thing I'm going to do is just chain one and turn my work. Now beginning on row one, into this first stitch, we are going to half double crochet, except we're only going to half double crochet into 17 stitches across our row. And once you have finished working these 17 stitches, we're now going to do a half double crochet decrease into the next stitch. To work a half double crochet decrease, you just want to yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over again, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and then just yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. Then simply just chain one and turn your work. Now moving on to row two. Into the first stitch we'll do another half double crochet decrease. So doing this again I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, Yarn over again, insert my hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through all five loops. Now we're going to half double crochet into two stitches. And then work a front post, treble crochet into the next stitch. We're just continuing on our honeycomb pattern. And then half double crochet into five stitches. And then just continue your regular honeycomb stitch pattern till the end of your row. All right, then you guys can just chain one and turn your work. Moving on to row three is gonna be a repeat row of the first row. So beginning into this first stitch, we are going to do a half double crochet and do each stitch all the way across until two stitches at the end of your row remain. Then, we'll, then I'm gonna show you guys how to do another half double crochet decrease. And then once I have two stitches at the end, I'm going to do another half double crochet decrease. So you can just chain one and turn. Moving on to row four, we'll do another half double crochet decrease. And then after this decrease, we will work three half double crochets. And then from here, you can just continue on your regular honeycomb stitch pattern. And then just chain and turn as usual. Row 5 is going to be another repeat row, so half double crochet into each stitch across until two stitches remain. And then just go ahead and decrease into those last two stitches. Chain and turn. Moving on to row 6, into the first stitch we'll do a decrease as usual. And then we're going to work one half double and then treble crochet into the next stitch. Then you can just go ahead and continue your regular stitch pattern till the end of your row. And 
and then just turn. Moving on to row seven, which is gonna be our very last repeat row. We're just gonna half double crochet and then decrease at the end. And then once you reach the end of this row, we can go ahead and cut and fasten off as usual. And then now this is gonna be the end of our first shoulder strap. This is what it looks like so far. And now that we have our first shoulder strap all done, we're now gonna do the same thing for our second shoulder strap. It's gonna be basically the same thing, but a little bit different. But let's go ahead and move on with those steps. So now we're gonna be moving on to our second shoulder strap. I have my hook and my yarn and I'll quickly just make a slip knot. After this, we're now gonna skip 16 unworked stitches and then inserting our hook into that into the 17th stitch. To show you what that's gonna look like, I'm first gonna count 16 stitches. And then I'll just insert my hook into that 17th stitch. Go ahead and slip stitch to secure. So just yarn over and pull through everything. Now just chain one and turn your work. So moving on to row one, we're gonna half double crochet decrease into the very first stitch. Then now we're just gonna half double crochet into each stitch across our row. And then just go ahead, chain and turn. Moving on to row two, we're first going to half double crochet into four stitches across. And then just treble crochet down below. Then all you wanna do is just continue your regular stitch pattern until two stitches at the end of your row remain. And then into those last two stitches of our row, we're gonna do another half double crochet decrease. And then just chain and turn your work. Now just moving on to row three, we're gonna half double crochet decrease into the next stitch as usual, or into that first stitch, not the next stitch. Then simply half double crochet into each stitch across. and then just chain and turn. Moving on to row four, we're gonna do the same exact thing. You just want to follow your regular stitch pattern until two stitches at the end of your row remain. And then we can just do, do our regular half double crochet decrease at the end. And then just go ahead and chain and turn your work. For row five, we're gonna, we're gonna decrease into the first stitch as usual. And then just half double crochet into each stitch across after. After you chained and turned your work, we're gonna move on to row six, which is exactly the same thing. Repeat doing your normal stitch pattern until you come two stitches from the end. And then I'll just do another decrease. Then chain and turn your work. Moving on to row seven, which is our last row. We're just gonna do we're just gonna do the same thing by decreasing into the first stitch and then half double crocheting into each of the next stitches. All right, guys. We have now finished up working both sides of our shoulder straps and this is what your work should be looking like afterwards. 
So now that we have both of our shoulder straps, that now completes our first front panel. And now that we have our front panel and our back panel, we're now just going to set these two pieces aside and then we're going to move on to working the sleeves, which I promise is super easy. But let's just go ahead and get started on those steps. So now we're going to be moving on to working the sleeves. I'm first just going to go ahead and make a slip knot. And then we're going to begin this pattern with a chain of 58. So I just finished up working my chain of 58. And now beginning into the second chain, we are going to work nine slip stitches across. And to work a slip stitch, I'm simply going to insert my hook and then just pull through both of those loops. And that is our first slip stitch. I'm gonna do this nine more times by inserting my hook and pulling through both of those loops. That's two, three, four, After these nine slip stitches, these slip stitches are going to be the cuff of our sleeve. And so into the next chains, we are just going to work our regular half double crochets. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to continue our honeycomb stitch pattern. But I'm just going to work up these half double crochets and I'll see you guys back. Now I just finished up working these half double crochets coming all the way down. And so this is where we did those nine slip stitches. Then here are all of our half double crochets. I'm just gonna chain and turn my work as usual. Moving on to row two, we're just gonna work half double crochets into each stitch all the way across our row until nine stitches at the end of our row remaining. Then I'm gonna show you guys how to do those slip stitches one more time. To the next eight stitches, we will work back bar our back loop slip stitches. To do a back bar slip stitch, instead of inserting your hook into both of these loops as you normally would, we're only going to insert our hook into that back bar or that back loop, just like this. Then just pull through both of those loops to finish. Doing this again, you just want to insert your hook into that back loop, pull through two, back loop, pull through two. Just do this until you have one stitch at the end. That's going to be eight back bar slip stitches. And then into this last back bar slip stitch, we'll do one regular slip stitch. So go through both of those loops and then just pull through both. Chain and turn your work. And again, these nine slip stitches will be our collar. I mean, will be our cuff. So beginning on row three, into this first stitch, we will work one regular slip stitch. And then we're gonna do eight back bar slip stitches or back loop slip stitches. And then now for the rest of our sleeve, we're gonna continue on doing our regular honeycomb stitch pattern. If you guys can remember, that third row was just gonna be a half double crochet. And then to that second stitch or that second post, we will work a front post treble. And then into the next five stitches, we'll work five half double crochets and then another front post treble. Keep on doing that all the way down your row. Then I'll see you guys back once I reach the end. So I made it here all the way down at my row. And as usual, I'll just chain one and turn my work. Now we're going to be facing the bad side or the wrong side of our pattern. So we're going to do those regular half double crochets all the way down our row until you have nine stitches at the end remaining. Then I'll do those back bar slip stitches and that one slip stitch at the end with you guys. So now to continue this pattern for our sleeve, you just want to repeat our regular honeycomb stitch pattern with working our cuff at the end here until you have 33 rows in total for your sleeve. Once you have 31 rows in total, this is what your sleeve should be looking like. 
So over here at the end is where we did our cuff and then this is where we just continued our honeycomb stitch pattern and so this is what it should be looking like. You do need two of these of course for both of our sleeves. So I'm going to finish up working at the second sleeve and then I'll see you guys back to continue. So I have just made a back here and I finished up working both of my sleeves. This is what both of them look like so far. Now that we have our two sleeves, we're going to set these two pieces aside and then we're going to get started on working on the assembly process. So let's go ahead and move on with those steps. So now we're going to move on to the assembly process. So over here I have my tapestry needle and my yarn and I just placed my front and back panels on top of each other. And now the first thing that we're going to seam are going to be our sides. And what we're going to do here is that we will, starting into this very bottom corner, we're going to whip stitch all the way up the sides until we have six and a half inches remaining. And that six and a half inches is going to leave room for our sleeves. So if I just grabbed my ruler right here, I'm going to go all the way up till I reach six and a half inches. So now I'm going to show you guys how to whip stitch. So I'm going to turn my work to the side and I'm going to insert my hook or my needle into the corner. I'm just going to zoom up here for you. So to whip stitch, you just want to insert your hook into that back loop, then into the back loop of the back panel, then just pull it straight through. Doing this again, just coming back around, inserting your needle, then into the next loop of the back panel, then just pull through. There we are. Then just keep on doing this. So I'm going to insert my hook, and then into the back. Then as I said, just continue on doing this until you have whip stitched together both of the sides of your work. Okay guys, so I just finished up seaming my two sides together. This is what it looks like with our six and a half gap. And I didn't mention this in the previous clip, but you do want to go ahead and whip stitch together these two small shoulder straps. And now that we have our bodice all done, we can just quickly seam together our sleeves, which is super easy. All you want to do is just fold this in half and then whip stitch all the way down until the end of your work. Once you have that, you can then finally attach your sleeve to the edge here and whip stitch all the way around until the end. Of course, you want to do that for both sleeves and then after those sleeves, that is pretty much all you're going to do for the assembly. So I'm going to quickly work that up and then I'll see you guys back to continue. Alright, so I just finished up working my sleeves and this is what our complete bodice looks like so far. So now the last things that we have to do is just the bottom border and then also our collar which are worked exactly the same way. So now let's go ahead and get started on that. So now we're going to get started on working our bottom border. I just have my regular 5.5 millimeter hook. Then I'm just going to go ahead and insert my hook into the seam of our work. And then just slip stitch to secure, so just yarn over and pull through everything. From this point, we're going to start off this pattern with a chain of 10. Beginning on row one in the second chain, we are going to slip stitch into these nine chains across our row. Once you have finished slip stitching across this chain, to connect this row to the side of our bottom border, we are going to slip stitch up three stitches on the side. So what that's going to look like is into this very first stitch, I'm going to slip stitch up one. Then into the next stitch as well, so here's two. Oops. Two. And then here's three. Then you can just go ahead and turn your work. 
Now moving on to row two, we are going to skip these first three slip stitches because those are going to act as our turning chains. So just right here. So we're going to skip these three first stitches and then insert our hook into this first stitch. We are going to work back bar slip stitches until one stitch at the end remains. And then into that very last stitch, you can just work one regular slip stitch just to finish off this row, chain and turn. Moving on to row three, into this first stitch, we will work one slip stitch. And then we're gonna work back bar slip stitches into each stitch cross. And then once you reach the end of your work, we're going to do the same thing that we did last time. So we're going to slip stitch up three stitches on the side and these three stitches will not count as stitches. So here's the first on work stitch. I'm just going to slip stitch one, two, and then three. And it should just connect that row just like this. Then just turn your work around. So now to continue this pattern, all you want to do is just repeat row two and row three until you've worked all the way around until the end. Um, it is a really easy border. So I'm just going to quickly work this up and then I'm going to see you guys back to continue. So I have now finished working this border all the way around until I have reached the end of my work. When I finished the end, I did go ahead and whip stitch these two edges together so it is nice and seamless. But this is what our bottom border is looking like so far. So now we're going to go ahead and move on with the collar. And the collar is literally the same exact thing that we did for the bottom border. The only difference is that instead of slip stitching up three on the side we are actually only going to insert up slip stitch up two on the side but i'm going to show you guys what that's going to look like so i have my hook and i'm just going to quickly make a slip knot then i'm just going to insert my hook into the back panel and then just of course slip stitch to secure and now we're going to do the same thing that we did last time with a chain of 10. Beginning on row one, into the second chain, we are going to slip stitch into each chain across. And once you have reached the end of these slip stitches, just as I mentioned, we're going to slip stitch up two on the side. So beginning into this first stitch, I'm going to slip stitch up one. Then I'll just slip stitch up that second stitch as well, and that should connect the row. I'm going to turn my work around. So now beginning on row two, we're going to skip these first two slip stitches because they don't count as a stitch. And then inserting our hook into the first stitch, we are going to work back bar slip stitches until one stitch remains. And then you can go ahead and slip stitch into that last stitch as well. Chain and turn your work. Moving on to our last repeat row, we're going to do a regular slip stitch into this first stitch. And then we're just going to back bar slip stitch or back loop slip stitch into each stitch across. And then you can just finally slip stitch up two on the side. Just like this. And so just as we did last time, we want to repeat row two and row three until you've worked all the way around the collar over here. So I'm gonna quickly work that up and then I'll see you guys back to continue. 
And so I just finished doing the collar, repeating row two and row three into each stitch all the way around the head hole. Once finished, I did just seam together these two small edges. And then after everything was done, I just flipped my work right side out so that now the good side is facing us right now. So that is basically the end of the tutorial. You would just need to weave in all of your loose ends to finish. That is all guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I hope to see you guys back next time. Bye. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. If you bought this pattern, it would be super helpful to leave a positive review. But that's all guys. Bye.